What's up everyone, I hope you're having an awesome day and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to pick a winning product and niche every single time. So when it comes to picking a winning product or niche, you have to make sure that the product that you're picking is relevant to the platform in which you're trying to sell it to. So today I'm gonna to show you three key criteria that your product must meet if you're going to drop ship it and you're gonna try and sell it using Facebook ads. For example then, if you're trying to sell, let's say a free I know it's quite an extreme example, but it proves the point quite nicely. If you're trying to sell a fridge on Facebook, then you're going to struggle in my opinion because fridges are quite expensive for a start. So to get somebody to buy that on impulse is gonna be difficult to do. And plus nobody is on Facebook to buy a fridge. It's a social media platform. People are there to socialize and watch funny videos. So to get somebody to spend that kind of money out of impulse is going to be difficult to do. Whereas if you try to take that fridge then and try and sell it on Amazon or using Google AdWords, then you're gonna have a much higher chance of success because with those platforms, you can target people who are interested in fridges. Plus they're the platforms that people go to when they want to buy something. So that is why it's so important then that when you pick a product, especially that you're gonna commit potentially hundreds of pounds, if not thousands of marketing pounds on Facebook too, then you've gotta make sure that you pick the right product. Now, before we jump into criteria number one, I just want to quickly mention, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me in this video. So a chance for me and you to speak one-to-one. -one. You can ask me whatever questions you want. We can go through your store, um, talk about Facebook ads, whatever it is. If that's something that you might want a chance to win, all you simply have to do is like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video, then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And with that being said, then let's get straight into number one. So number one then guys is passion. If you can see that the products that you pick to advertise on Facebook, it must be within a niche that people are are passionate about so to give you an example then of a couple of niches you have say the grandparent niche obviously anything to do with family people are very passionate about um, the pet niche people are very passionate about their pets they treat them like family so that is point number one and now the reason somebody has to have a passion within that niche that you pick a product in is because people are on Facebook to socialize and watch funny videos, they're not there to buy anything. So the products that you pick has to be really relevant to the person that's gonna see it. And when they see it, if they're passionate about it, then that's what's gonna strike their kind of, it's gonna make them intrigued and it's gonna make them interested in the product. So for example, somebody like me, I'm really interested in dogs, I have a dog. If I see a dog product, then immediately I'm gonna have an interest in that product because I have a dog. So I'm gonna be thinking along the lines of how can this product help me or help my dog? Whereas if somebody shows me, if I see say like a cat product on my feed, I don't particularly like cats, I don't have a cat, then it's not gonna gain my interest Interest. I'm not going to be intrigued about it and I'm just going to scroll straight past it so that's why the products that you pick it has to be within a passionate audience because that's the only way that you're going to be able to get somebody's attention is if they're passionate about your product when I talk about passion then and how to gauge whether somebody's actually going to be passionate about your product then it's kind of like one or two ways in which I think about it number one is what can that product do for the person so is that product solving a problem then and if it is then what kind of problem is it just like a stupid little problem that people aren't really bothered about or is it a really big problem that is going to make a big impact in people's lives so for example then the led dog collar many people will shoot that down as a drop shipping product but the problem it solves is a really important problem if somebody can spend 15 20 pounds on a collar and a lead that could potentially save their dog's life then that is a tiny investment for the potential reward that they're going to get with that product and therefore it solves a really big problem that people are passionate about passion means strong emotion so when somebody sees your product and sees your ad it must trigger some sort of emotion within them and that's what's going to gauge their interest and potentially lead them to buy in your product another way to create that passion within your customer is to advertise your product in a way that sparks some kind of emotion when they see your ad so i know i use the dog niche a lot purely because it's such a good example there's so many different examples within it if you try and advertise let's say some sort of dog clothing whether it's some sort of hoodie or um, like waistcoat or something if you can get like a really cute dog to run around having fun chasing a ball wearing that like that piece of clothing then when somebody sees your ad 
Regardless of whether they notice the product or not, the fact that they see a dog having fun, it sparks that emotion within the viewer. It makes them think that's a cute dog and they have that connection with that product or with, with your ad. And that is key. That is 100% key to choosing a successful product on Facebook. If you can pick a product and advertise it in a way that's going to grab people's attention, it's going to make them want to engage with it. And it's going to make them interested in the product and actually want to watch the video out of pure and enjoyment then you're going to be on a fast track to success it's the easiest way just make sure you pick a product then that people are passionate about moving on to number two then guys which is evergreen so pick a niche and a product within a niche that has an evergreen audience and what i mean by that then is that the audience is constantly increasing in size so to give you an example then the dog niche again um, a lot of people will consider the dog niche quite saturated but it's a really good example of an evergreen audience thousands hundreds of thousands of pets get adopted every single day so there's hundreds of thousands of potentially new customers every single day and that's just, that's essentially what an evergreen audience is is it's an audience where there's more and more people coming into that particular audience every single day another good one is the grandparent niche there's hundreds of thousands of people born every single day and the majority of them will probably have grandparents therefore there's new customers coming into that niche into that market on a daily basis and the reason this is so important then is because if you can pick a niche that has an evergreen audience then your niche and the products within that niche are going to sell all year round 365 days a year there's going to be no kind of spikes in interest and then a complete fall off so for example then um, the fidget spinner is a classic classic example is that it wasn't an evergreen audience there was a surge of interest tons of people coming to the market for them but then it just dropped off there wasn't more and more people coming into the market because it was a trending product it wasn't like when people hit a certain age then they become interested in fidget spinners it didn't work like that whereas things like the pet niches the grandparent niches cycling niches there's constantly on a daily basis more and more people coming into those markets and therefore it's an evergreen audience and choosing a product that has an evergreen audience is just going to make sure that you don't have to worry about it one day becoming not popular and it also means that you'll be able to sell it successfully and consistently 365 days a year another reason then why it's important to choose an evergreen product with an evergreen audience is competition so if you have a particular market or audience that's growing in size on a daily basis especially if you pick a product that hasn't got like a household name to it so when i say led dog collar to you watching this video then there probably isn't a single brand in your mind that comes to your mind so that's like an ideal situation because when the new customers come into that market come into that space and looking for that particular product then there's no favoritism there's no kind of go-to brand for them which means if you can be one of the first people to show them your ad and you can do better than everybody else then you're not going to lose out on that sale because there's no go-to brand and this is where things can become really powerful is that in those kind of spaces and those kind of products if you can build a brand and become the household name or the country name for that particular product then as people come into those spaces then they just come straight to you you don't even have to advertise if now i'm talking probably like a few years down the line because we're talking about building an established massive brand here but essentially if you want to be in this for the long term then there's no reason why that isn't the kind of thing that you should be working towards so to summarize in number two make sure you pick a niche that has an evergreen audience which means that on a daily basis if not weekly or monthly then there's a good amount of new customers coming into that market moving on to the third and final criteria then which is viral capability so what i mean by that then is that i mean your ad comes into a big play here is that the ad you produce for that particular product has viral capability so if you just have a single image of just some boring bland products that nobody really cares about then the viral capability is very small whereas if you have a really cool and quirky product and the more cool and quirky a product is or the bigger usp a product has so the biggest unique selling point a product has is then the more viral potential potential that is in that product so for example then the led dog color doesn't really have much viral potential because unless you do something differently about it that nobody's seen it before and it's quite a popular product most people have seen it before whereas if you sell something like 
Um, the other day I saw this USB kind of like disco ball that plugged into your car um, port that create like a disco in your car because it's quite cool, it's quite funny, it's quite quirky and not many people will have seen it before. Um, I'll put a screenshot um, on the screen as well so you can see what I mean then it's the sort of thing that a lot of people will engage with and that's ultimately what it comes down to your advertising on a social media platform so you need to take advantage of that by creating a ad about a product that has a lot of engagement potential because the more people that engage with your product so comment like share then the more people that are gonna see that organically, the more organic reach you're gonna get and the more people you can reach organically. So what I mean by that is for free. So every time somebody shares your ad or your post, then on average, another 200 people are gonna see that because on average, that's how many Facebook friends the average Facebook user has. So the more people you can get to do that then to share or to engage, the more people that are gonna see your ad that you won't have to pay for. So it's gonna to lead to cheaper CPMs um, it's going to lead to more people seeing your product and therefore more chance of making a sale. And plus it's going to increase your relevance score. So relevance score is based on how effective your ad is to your particular audience. So how often they're engaging with it. And the higher your relevance score is, the more engagement you're getting. And in Facebook's eyes, that's only going to be a good thing. Obviously, they want to give the best kind of user experience as possible. So they only want to show the ads that people are enjoying seeing. So the ads that people are watching all the way through the ads that people are liking the ads that people are commenting on the ads that people are sharing so the more you can get people to do that to your ad and it comes down to the way you create your ad and the products that you pick then the better and more cheaper results you're going to be able to achieve and with that being said then guys that wraps up the video there the three main key criteria trust me if you pick a product or a niche that matches all three of those criteria it is significantly going to increase your chances of success so just to recap quickly number one choose a product that people can get passionate about either because of the emotional connection or response they have when they see your product or because of what it can do for them so a problem solving product just make sure that the problem that you're solving is a relevant problem that people care about and will significantly change somebody's life Number two then, make sure you pick a product within an evergreen audience. So a audience, a market, a niche that is constantly increasing in, in size. So for example, then the grandparent niche, there's hundreds of thousands of new people born every day. And therefore there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of new grandparents every single day. And then number three, make sure you pick a product and advertise it in a way that has viral potential. And you do that then by advertising it in a way that people have that passionate response, that emotional response to it, because that's gonna to lead to people engaging with your ad. When you create your ad, try and think along the lines of, will somebody engage with this? And with that being said then, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, all I ask then is that you simply leave a like on the video. And if you want that chance to speak to me one-to-one -to, -one to go over your own dropshipping business, um, all you have to do is like the video and leave a comment down below. And with that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. What's up guys? So so here we are then on my previous video, how much money you need to start dropshipping in 2019. If you haven't watched it yet, please do go and check it out. I do actually show you inside my ad manager account so you can see exactly how much money I spent on Facebook ads. But anyway, we're here to announce the winner. So I'm just gonna take the URL in the top left, head over to our random comment picker. We had 52 unique comments, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much. I truly do mean it. The support for this channel has been absolutely awesome. And the winner of the previous video then is Dorian. So thank you very much for your comment. I really appreciate it. Make sure you reach out on Instagram and we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you didn't win this time, but you do want to speak to me one-to-one, -one, you can actually just get straight down to business and book a call today. Um, just make sure you check out the links in the video description below. And with that being said then guys, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.